Earlier this morning, the next big thing in personal computing became available to purchase. Windows 8 has been released, and it is a pretty big departure for Microsoft. So here now with a little sneak peek is tech expert Julian Sanders from London Drugs. Good morning. Good morning. So Windows 8, Microsoft is, is banking on this big time. What exactly is the overall idea behind this this new refresh? Uh, well, it, they've been trying really hard to make the same operating system work on tablets, laptops, and desktops. So you get used to one experience, you can pick up another piece of hardware, sign in, and uh, all your stuff syncs without having to worry about getting used to a new uh, platform. Okay, I've heard the, the word uh, no compromises. That's right. That's yeah. the term they're using. So it, it looks really different and snazzy, very attractive to, to, to view. Is it easy to navigate this type of thing? Uh, very. This is the new evolution of the start screen. Uh, so the start button has changed to the start screen here. Uh, you can see that you've got information right in front of you, so you don't have to worry about going and finding a program and signing on. It's just there ready for you to use. You get to customize the start screen with the information that you care about. So it's not a matter of uh, worrying about what the computer's up to. You just have to turn it on and start using it. Okay. And it's always seemed weird to me that you'd have to go down into that little bar in the bottom corner and then uh, work out from there. So this makes a lot of sense. Microsoft has been losing a little ground to, to Apple and Android over the, the last few years. And this obviously is their answer to that, right? Right, yeah. And there's a lot of new uh, hardware coming out, too, because you don't have to worry about uh, doing a, a whole bunch of different uh, 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 form factors and then making an operating system just for it so you can get the uh, <laughs> you can get the um, experience uh, on many different shapes of computers too this is a Toshiba that converts from a tablet to a laptop uh, with great ease and uh, you don't have to worry wow. about buying both pieces so there's a lot of really nice hardware coming out that you'll be very surprised to get your hands on okay so it does look very different Windows 8 yep. is it easy enough to pick up and learn and, and take what you had on Windows 7 and, and start using Using it this yeah. way? Oh, yeah. Most people are uh, worried that their software won't work. Yeah. Anything that worked in Windows 7 will work in Windows 8, including games and different web browsers, things that people are used to getting customized, like email extensions, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a desktop mode, which is the familiar way of running things. So if you have software from work or anything, it'll still run in the desktop mode in Windows 8. Okay. So how much does this cost for people to, uh, to upgrade then? Uh, there's a promotional price of $69.99. That's not so bad. Yeah, so no, it's really no affordable. Works. It's actually Microsoft's most affordable upgrade ever. <laughs> okay, so I, you know it, it's the next level of PC computing. But I think the number one question, at least for me and probably a lot of other people, um, does it play Angry Birds? <laughs> it does. That's very important. It can play Angry Birds. Are you There's sure? uh, uh, right on here. See? Ah. Angry Birds, ready Thank to goodness. go. Thank goodness. <laughs> there you have it. Everything you want in a PC. Windows 8 is out today. Julian Sanders. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jerry.